firing away. Here comes a big boulder. Nice hit. What's up everybody, I'm the Mangus, you are awesome, and Team Soul Leave, the creators of Paragon the Overprime, gave their partner creators some early access gameplay videos. These are in several different languages, but the gameplay is still there, and it's still exciting. Today, we'll be looking at the Danish video that features some Rampage gameplay. There will be more of these featuring a variety of heroes as we prepare for the final beta test starting on November 9th at 9pm EST and going through November 21st. You can sign up on Steam. I'll talk about some of my concerns at the end of the video, both with Rampage himself and the updates they've made to the game, but for now, let's watch a big gorilla squid chuck some rocks at people. Rampage sneaking around the side of the jungle. Looks like it's going to be a support Rampage. Throws a rock, hits the Murdoch. Murdoch got a little too greedy going after that Revenant, and he pays for it with Rampage taking first blood. <laughs> Return rock punches the emote. But he doesn't have much support there. That rock didn't do much. Steel comes charging out of the bushes, but he doesn't hit jack shit. That, just like that rock didn't hit jack shit. Rampage extremely low on health. Let's see if he can do anything to help this Grux out. Grux, I think, bit off a little more than he can chew. It looks like we've got two support Rampages. I wonder if that's going to be a thing. Lots of support Rampage. Grux extremely low. I'm surprised he didn't die right there. If this Rampage has a rock, can he... So he used the slow, so that might be able to enough to... <laughs> to save Grux. The rock goes into the face of Murdoch, which is probably a good thing. If it would have hit Rampage, it, does he have a rock? He doesn't have enough mana for a rock, but Revenant gets the kill anyway. If he would have had, he was about 20 mana away from being a fucking hero right there if he would have hit that long, long range rock. He's going to head on back to base and buy some items. Unfortunately, I don't speak Danish, so I have no idea what these items say. But he's gonna pick up a he's gonna pick up a little something something. Man, I wish I could speak Danish right now. So that's um I know that whip thing. Okay, here's here's something I don't I dislike about uh about Rampage in particular in the new Overprime. He his sprint animation is the startup of his ultimate animation. So it gets a little confusing because you think that maybe he's about to ult. But he's just going into sprint, so it's a little weird. But it looks like uh, Prime Spirit is being contested. So Rampage is going to... Nope, they're, they're just rotating the mid lane. That's a strange rotate. Somebody's recently taken that portal, too. So that's down for a while. They did not see that the Rampage had followed them. Murdoch in trouble. He, he does get knocked away. Now the enemy Rampage is helping him out. Murdoch goes down quite easily. And that was, uh, like I said, I don't, I don't understand that rotation, and it did not work out for him. Now it's Rampage v. Rampage. Grux is going to get this kill on the Fey with ease. They're setting up a party bush here. Let's see who they're going to try and try and catch. Oh, uh, you're going to, you got it. You can't just face check bushes in uh, Overprime. They didn't really set up a party bush. They just kind of hung out there. The Goomba Stomp comes through. And smashes them. I love that landing on people with a rampage for the kill. It always reminds me of Mario. Now we got a big tank fight here in mid lane. We got a lot of beefy boys in this game. He misses that short range rock on the Murdoch and he might die for it. He ults up. He's got the regen going, but he is extremely low. And Murdoch wants that kill, but Murdoch got a little greedy and got pulled in by Grux. Yeah, he barely got out of that one, boys. He barely got out of that one. That, uh, his ultimate definitely saved him right there. Can he throw a long range? And it didn't hit anything. That would have been pretty badass if he would have hit it. Would have, could have, should have. Getting into this jungle fight, he does land a pretty good rock right there. Ooh, Grux is so low. Grux is, uh, he's, he, he's, uh, he's a danger boy. Now they're trying to back out. Halas are trying to get away. They, the, the Fey fly trap goes down. The Fey fly trap doesn't seem to last very long at all. No, a nice rock whips that one out. And that may have saved Howitzer. You can't really know. And it looks like he just popped a pot or something. He had regen from something or other. Now they're going to go back into the jungle. Who is that down there trying to be a fucking hero? They're about to be a guy. <laughs> I was about to say they're about to be a zero. So fucking cheesy. So corny. That's a big old brawl in here. 
Rampage just needs to get in and just use his body to, to, to deflect shots. He has a health tank, not really an armor tank, so he can get shredded fairly easily, but a big fight like this where everybody's low, and yeah, he, do, he does end up going down, but I think he was disruptive enough that he really helped his team out. Trying to defend this inhibitor, Steel went charging straight into the inhib, had the ult to get out. Poor Steel, wasted ult right there. I think if I would have charged that far, I would have just went out, out the back end. Of course, I don't see where the friendly team is all over the place. Man, the Revenant just laying it down with the Obliterate. Steel just, no fear on this Steel. He just charges straight in whenever he can. They need to get into the back line. Nice rock landed on the Severog. Probably not the best target. Severog, extremely tanky, and he's not, he, he does end up going down, but I don't think that rock had much to do with that. He was sticking around anyway. Got to watch those rock placements. It's hard to do, though. Those rock. <laughs> Speaking of rock placements, Brick, that one straight into the wall. He's still going to pursue into this team fight. He just left over. The other Rampage left in, and he, but he, this Rampage is going after Steel. I, th I think he's building... Um, he's got some damage on him, but I don't know if he's going to take the Steel. This Steel is extremely tanky, and Rampage doesn't have that much damage. He misses the Goomba Stomp, lands the Jumping Rock. That's one thing I've noticed about uh, Overprime is it seems that you can jump while you're casting things like Smash and Grab or the Boulder. Uh, it makes me wonder if you could jump in Richter Pull, which I've always fucking wanted to do. Nice rock onto the Steel. Not going to really do much. Like I said, Steel just so, so, so tanky. They'd be better off going after that uh, that Fae in the background. They might be able to cancel out some damage. Big fight in the bushes. He lands a nice rock on Muriel. Or no, that was Severog. I can't tell when they're... When they're in that weird, uh, when they're in the bushes, when in the bush phase. I hope they change it to where if you're attacked, he misses the rock there. He is trying to save this Grux. Can he do it? He cannot. Still chasing that Grux down for all he's worth. Now Rampage is in trouble. We got Howitzer coming in, but I don't know if Howitzer's going to be able to do anything. That was a very nice charge from Steel. The boulder straight into Steel's face. Cuts him off, but uh, the damage is still out there. They still got, uh, I believe that's Murdoch. Firing away. Here comes a big boulder. Nice hit. Long range boulder, man. When this guy hits boulders, they count. Let's look at that again. Rampage winds up. Here's the pitch. And strike. <laughs> it only did a little bit of damage. Looks like the minions finished him off, but that was pretty awesome. I'm going to do have to do a compilation at the end of this video of this guy hitting rocks and then missing rocks. And speaking of hitting rocks, ooh. Uh, I don't think, uh, yeah, yeah. Murdoch definitely not getting out of that. Oh, they came charging over there straight into Rampage. Oh, he, he break. <laughs> just as I'm talking about him hitting a rock, he bricks that one into the stairs. Be nice if he had that rock for that favorite right there. They're going to post up on the Prime Spirit Guardian. This thing is incredibly good to take. Um, this... This kind of wins you the games. If the more times you can take this Prime Spirit Guardian, the the better chance your team has of winning. Especially if you get the mana one and you've got a Narbash on your team, he could just he could just drum all day. Looks like we've got another fight towards mid. I thought Rampage was going to hunt the Fey down. No, he's going to try and come in and help his team out because uh, they got the the beefy boy crew of Severog and the enemy Rampage over there. And I don't know where the fuck that dude just went. Steel just... He still... God, look at all these knock-ups. I think that that must have been a steel uh, bull rush into a um, into a steel ultimate. Rampage is sticking in the middle of it. Sticking in the thick of it. He doesn't have his... He's already used his ultimate, but... um, Yeah, but he didn't take that much damage because of his ultimate. Even through all that craziness. It looks like they finally get a kill amidst all of that. He's going to try and run in again. Murdoch, what are you doing, bro? That was not the that was not the fight you wanted to go into. Oh, is he going to... He up. Oh, no. Murdoch knocked him back. Oh, he misses the boulder. I, okay, I, I give him that one, though. I, I, I thought that Murdoch was going to come off the side of that bush, too. So, he he gets away with that one. Now, he's going to hunt down this Severog. Nice hit with the boulder. Seems like he has to jump. He If he jumps, he hits the boulder. If he doesn't jump, he misses him. Severog's going to be fleeing. Can he? Yep, see? He just jumped. He just jumped and hit the boulder again. This guy. This guy with his jumping boulders. And leapy boulders. And he's going to go back and get some more items that I can't read. 
<laughs> the, it looks like uh, the item shop UI is pretty good. They, uh, they, they like to just hang out in the bushes in here. Look, look, I like how the bushes move so you can tell where they went. Oh, man, man, if you could have lined up a rock on that Murdoch, it doesn't matter. Several just charged through and took Murdoch out. But uh, Steel is doing a great job of being very, very disruptive in all of these fights. Speaking of being disruptive, there he goes again. But the big boulder comes out from Rampage. Faye throwing down her ultimate. Didn't really do a whole hell of a lot. Uh, Faye's ultimate seems to be quite ineffective in these videos. But uh, yeah, Rampage is just going all fucking Winston up in this bitch. It, it, they're so clustered up. This is such a beefy, like, we got Severog and Steels and Rampages, and it's just... They're all so fucking beefy. Can he get this enemy Rampage? It doesn't matter. Re uh, Revenant got him, but he would have got him with that rock. I, I have faith in him. Hanging out in mid lane once again. Steel comes through with an ultimate that uh, I don't think hit the Revenant. Did definitely hit the Rampage, though. But I think Revenant is what he really wanted. Rampage leaping into the Shadow Well. Gets out of that mid lane fight. Now he's going to come in with Grux and Severog and see if they can uh, make some things happen. That, see that leaping grab? See that leaping grab from Grux? I swear, it's so cool. Oh, and we got a nice boulder into the face of Murdoch, and that's going to secure that kill. That's the big damage dealer out of the game. And now they're all going to focus up like a pride of lions trying to take down a fucking rhino or something. They just can't kill this, this goddamn Severog. Or, no, that was, uh, that was Steel, my bad. Oh, he's, he's just so tanky, so tanky. There's Severog. They're, they're not going to be able Okay, they killed him with ease. Made a liar out of me. That was a uh, Howitzer must have hit him with that R2000 rocket. The big Goomba stomp does a lot of damage coming in off over the top. And this, uh, oh man, it, the, the rock just whizzed straight over his head. That would have been awesome. That would have been amazing. There you go. Kill that Fey. You got to get the damage dealers first, guys. You can't you can't be focusing up on a, a fucking, uh, uh, Severog at 10th of a health has more health than a Fey at full health. So, like, target priorities, people. Looks like they're about finished up here. They're they're all grouped up. He's got some sort of link item going to Gruxy Poo. Um, I'm sure that's some sort of damage sharing link or whatever. Oh, Grux just runs right past the inhib and takes down the core. Good game. And before we get into my final thoughts of the video, I really am going to go ahead and uh, show uh, all the times this guy hit great rocks and all the times this guy uh, bricked them straight into the side of a wall. I'm just fucking around. This guy did a great job. Certainly better than than I would have done. As far as uh, my concerns from this gameplay footage, again, I don't like his travel transition animation where he looks like he's about to ult, but then he doesn't. Um, I'm also a little concerned by how long games are taking. It also seems that they've removed the prime dunk mechanic. So there's a lot to be concerned about here, but we'll have to try just try and find out in the final beta test for ourselves how Overprime is going to play in the future. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this content. I got plenty more coming. We're going to look at several different heroes and lots of different highlights. It's going to be a good time. Just uh, look for these videos coming out uh, before the CBT, which is November 10th. Well, November 9th, if you're East Coast in a November 9th at like uh, 9 p.m. or something like that. So that's that's going to be pretty cool. So we can get in there until the 21st or probably the 20th, actually. And um, mix it up and have a good time. But uh, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Uh, if you want more third-person MOBA content, subscribe. But for now, this is the Mangoose signing off. You guys have a good one. Mangoose! Special shout out to channel members Stunt, Covetous Lemon, The Beard Wolverine, Pizza Face, Pusey, El Draco King, Oda, F6, Actual Dez, Joshua Van Noctis, Soul Reaper, J Man 63, Levy, Version 2. Dapper Dice, Lionheart Official, Clorox TV, Raven, Blastoise King, Meow Mix for Men, Jelly Knees, and our top gifter, I, Blood Hunter.